hello god bless you how are you how are you welcome 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 be welcome to shine above platform we joy our how are you enjoying the year so far i believe the lord is with you hallelujah i believe the lord is with you as a mighty wholesome one and the year will be pleasant with no choice hallelujah you know why because god is the creator of it all and as the children of God, the Bible says we shall live by faith. He said the just shall live by faith. So I encourage you to live by faith in this year 2021. Hallelujah. Welcome, welcome, welcome once again. I am Joy Algo, if this is your first time. And, uh, and I hope you, this video meet you right. I hope this video be a blessing to you and to all that concern you. Amen. Amen. Wow. It's a pleasure to come your way once again. I am really happy to be here and I hope today the Lord use me as a vessel that is available. Amen. Right. Without no delay, I have a message that I've been deliberating on that I really want to finish today. You know, by the grace of God, I believe this message, I will end it here today as um on the path for hallelujah so and the message remain again how to feed your relationship healthier and stronger today is on part four part four and that is the final hallelujah good good so today i want to bring to emphasize on two areas that i believe you can use to feed your relationship or that we can use to feed our relationship hallelujah and the first point I have here is avoid favorizing in parenting. Mm, oh, that's lovely. We, I am a parent. I believe by God's grace, you are a parent or you will be a parent in future. Hallelujah. In relationship or in parenting, you have to avoid favorizing. As a parent, you have to love your children, every uh, parents have to love children equally. Hallelujah. Children has to be loved by their parents equally. No favorism. Favorism must be avoided in family. Favorism must be avoided in parenting. Oh, very important because this will cause, if it's not avoided, it will cause a, a clash. So this is a relationship. Remember, relationship means a lot. Relationship involve friendship, involve uh, business relationship, involve parenting uh, relationship or family relationship, marriage, etc., etc. On this package today, I am deliberating on parenting. As a parent, I advise, I encourage, or I motivate we parent that we should try um we should try yeah to avoid anything favorism yes a children must be loved equally when you become a parent or when you're a parent you your child or your children you should love them equal with equal love no favorism no this is my favorite this is not my favorite no that in that doing you're creating a lot of a lot of confusion Yes, there be a cases on that. There be a, a reference or many ref on numeral reference on that. So numeral reference whereby a parents create a, a, a confusion in ways or whatever or property stuff and create one thing and the other that lead the children or the family to become apart or relationship to be apart or not love it themselves or because of favorism. So we parents must not involve favorizing in our parenting we must love our children equally hallelujah so today this is my first topic how we can feed our relationship every relationship in when they come to the area of parenting parents must have this in hand that you must love your children equally with equal love there must not be a favorism at all because it will create a confusion on the children mm-hmm I've, we, I've heard or seen many cases in that where parents love one that another or live a ways that is higher than the other. And at the end of the day, the children end up becoming enemies to themselves. That is not good. So there must not be a favorizing in parenting. 
This is my first point of how we can feed our relationship healthier and stronger. Yes, this is a food. When I may feed, I'm giving the food. The food is avoid, uh, avoid favorizing in parenting. Every children deserve to be loved equally by their biological parent. If you cannot love, if we can love our children, then there's no point of we planning to be a parent. So parents must love their children very well because a child that is loved, that is being loved equally, we also know how to pass that love to the society or to the to the to the uh, to, to the next generation. So this we have here relationship by loving equally, not favorism. Favorism must be avoided. And this will help the community and the wider society. Because if a child is loved, he will be happy, he will be, he will be happy to pass that love around. So we must not pass a hatred in parenting. So we must love our children. Very important, because we are the picture or the example that children follow. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So this is my first point. For we parent or for a parent to be in future, no favorizing, avoid anything favorizing in parenting. As this we hurt your relationship and make relationship stronger. Hallelujah. So my second point I have here is during courtship, avoid dishonest. Mm-hmm. You know what that means very well. <laughs> you know, during courtship, during time you are in relationship, before marriage, before pre, let's call it pre-marriage, before you marry you and the uh, and your uh, pa, uh, or your uh, the person you're dating or your your fiance or whoever who you are engaged to should be should be you must be honest to each other. Don't deceive each other. Be honest with your in in be have openness. That's what I mean. Have openness so that in, when you married, everything stay. The, you understand. You you each, you can still understand each other without no dishonest. Uh, implement anything dishonest on it. Avoid dishonor because this can create a a, a, a a terrible mistake, a disaster in that marriage. So. Uh, dishonest must be avoided during courtship. Yes, yes, that there are a lot of evidence of that. Or number, I can't name that at all, but I know that there's a lot of references, there's a lot of cases, there's a lot of movies where that have been displayed. Yeah, you you enter into a relationship deceiving the man with one thing and the other, or or example, you maybe you like this or the other one don't like that, whatever, whatever, and you pretend that you it's okay, and later you find it oh that's not right. So these things, anything dishonest must be avoided during courtship because this is a person you're going to spend your life with together and for forever in, in, as oneness. So you must have openness within each other. Oh, yes. At least both of you know each other very well, understand your like, your dislike. At the end of the day, everything stays sweet and beautiful with not, without not deceiving each other because this is where you spend your life in. So there should not be dishonest. This is how I believe we can feed our relationship healthier and stronger. Because when the food is given, like the um, like Abraham Maslow said, when a person needs his man, the person can for sure enter effectively. So when the need that we need to give to relationship is man, the relationship can be stronger and healthier. Things like this can look like oh, it's just a common sense joy is now. So things like this has to be avoided in order to have a healthier and stronger relationship. I hope this meets you right, and I hope this bless you, and thank you for listening, and do feel free to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so, and share, and like, and put a comment, or a subjective comment. Hallelujah. God bless you, and stay good, and shalom, shalom. Thank you. Bye-bye.